thank you for being a part of this very special uh, virtual conclave right here. We're all set to begin with our session on changing fertility care for generations to come. And I'd like to extend a very warm welcome to Dr. Shipra Chopra, Marketing Director, Cooper Surgical India. Let's listen in. Hello, everyone. I'm Shipra Tukral, Marketing Director for Cooper Surgical India. Infertility recognized by WHO as a disease of the male or female reproductive system affects millions of people of reproductive age worldwide. Estimates suggest that around 186 million individuals live with infertility globally. WHO estimates that every one in six couples have some or the other issue related to infertility. In a country like India, with over 1.3 billion population and over 50% of its population under the age of 25 and around 68% population under the age of 35, it is estimated there are, that there are more than 30 million couples that are infertile. While the problem or reasons behind infertility could differ, for example, in an urban population, it could be related to changes in lifestyle, late marriages, work-life balance, etc. Whereas in the rural population, it could stem from hygiene, tuberculosis, other infections. According to the data from the fifth National Family Health Survey, India's total fertility rate or the average number of children that a woman gives birth to has declined from 2.2 to 2.0, while the contraceptive prevalence rate has increased from 54 to around 67%. Having said that, every human being has a right to have a child. Infertility can negate the realization of these essential human rights. Addressing infertility, therefore, is an important part of realizing the right of individuals and couples to form a family. With changing times and increasing awareness about infertility issues, it does not no longer remain a taboo. People, at least in the urban population, have started talking about it, getting it diagnosed, accepting it, and seeking treatment. While people do say that cost remains to be a major issue to be addressed, if one looks at the way the overall middle class category is increasing, which is bound to reach to around 547 million in 2025, from around 267 in 2015, and overall the growth in GDP for the country, over 68% of Indian population still can afford an IVF cycle. What is more important now is that the government of India and the health ministry are focusing a lot on IVF as a key segment. And the recent ART Act and the Surrogacy Act are a testimony to how the government wants to regulate this double digit growing sector. The new laws which have come up, the ART Bill and the Surrogacy Act, are highly patient centric. Of course, focus a lot on how an IVF clinic should operate with a focus on patient rights and patient health. Not only these laws are bound to bring in more organization in the overall IVF sector, which I must mention the fraternity is extremely proud, happy and glad of, but will also bring in a lot of awareness in the patients about what to look for in an IVF clinic, what are the questions to ask for, what are the questions to be addressed and how to get the treatment done. As a part of an organization with a vision of creating a world of healthy women, babies and families, I'm very proud to say that Cooper Surgical brings in high quality technologies to every lab ensuring trust, reliability and patient safety. With innovating sol innovative solutions and products that address every part of an IVF cycle right from an ovum pickup to the embryo transfer and most importantly, the unique RI witness system that like a guardian monitors every step of the IVF cycle, ensuring that there are no mix ups, there is proper documentation and of course, peace of mind, both for the patient or the couple and the clinics. We have a vision of changing fertility care for uh, future generations to come. Not only when it comes to products and solutions that we provide, as an organization, we also believe in contributing to the ART fraternity and the field in a lot of different ways. 
We are the only organization who has worked with major societies and organization like the Indian Society for Assisted Reproduction, ISAR, the Indian Fertility Society, IFS, and the Academy of Clinical Embryologists with over 45 key opinion leaders to come up with the first ever consensus guidelines for embryology in India that address safe and ethical practices in an embryology lab the various advanced technologies that are available and how they should be used, and pre-genetic testing, where and how. So these are the three aspects that are being addressed by the uh, consensus guidelines that was launched last year. This is also published in the Journal of Human uh, Reproduction. Uh, in addition to this, we have also tied up recently with the lovely professional university for their master's course in clinical embryology, as well as various other short-term courses that we will be doing together, both in our center of excellence and lovely professional university. The vision is to be able to contribute to this field of embryo uh, embryology by bringing in more skilled manpower and embryologists, which is a big need gap to be addressed in ART in India. We are ever thankful to our partners and patrons for their trust and combined vision of bringing change in fertility care for generations to come. Thank you very much. Thank you so very much, Dr. Shifra Tukral, for sharing with us Super Surgical India's vision. And uh, let's get to know more about them and the aim that they have through this video. There are those we look up to, those who taught us everything, those we share our lives with, and those we look forward to meeting for the very first time. Though we all belong to a generation, not everyone has a chance to help create a new one. No more than one generation ago, the world of fertility care changed forever. With Louise, we saw what was possible with IVF. And today, she and millions of women, babies, and families have become generational symbols of courage, knowledge, progress, and change. But as the need for fertility care continues to change, there are challenges we must overcome. As global demographics are changing, fertility rates are under pressure. As technology is advancing faster than ever, clinics and patients still need the tools, time, and training to turn data into informed decisions. And the limited access to quality fertility treatment is a global reproductive issue that needs to change. At Cooper Surgical, we are proud to offer leading IVF and genetic testing solutions to clinics around the world. We believe in pushing the boundaries of what is possible, that together we can change the standards of fertility care to increase the time for patient support and consistently optimize outcomes, change the journey in fertility care to reach a higher level of insight, efficiency, and trust, change the access to fertility care to break down the barriers standing in the way of parenthood. That's how, together with her, him, her, they, them, we can make the change every generation deserves, a chance to bring new generations to life. Cooper Surgical, changing fertility care for generations to come.